Good afternoon, everybody. I'm well, happy to be here. A little bit tired, but uh, definitely happy to be here. So what did you, uh, what did you make of the trade? Did you expect anything was coming down the road? Or surprised? It could I thought it might happen, but uh, I thought it may happen, but uh, just look at it as a new opportunity. Uh, new beginnings and uh, new beginnings on a great team. And my job is just coming here and buy into the culture and try to help this great team win. And that's all I'm focused on. Did you have any inkling that Buffalo might be interested uh, before, I mean, before today? Uh, I thought they may be interested, but uh, just, I really just honestly let my agent kind of do all that. And uh, my, I have a great agent, agent. Shout out to him for getting me here. But um, I'm super, super and uh, thankful for this opportunity. And one, I mean, they were the Super Bowl favorites coming in. Just, what do you think about playing with Josh Allen and being <laughs> this often? Wow, I mean, it's uh, it's a great opportunity. Just going out there and seeing all those playmakers, just watching for the first time uh, in practice is crazy. And uh, it's high powered offense, and um, I just want to help this help this offense become more high powered and bring some sort of speed and versatility uh, to this offense. We got a lot of great playmakers, and I hope to be a guy who helps. I was going to ask you that. I mean, given what you bring to the table, you're a very versatile player. This offense is so diverse. I believe it's a perfect fit. Uh, I think, you know, the offense is looking at it over the years. Uh, when my agent kind of told me, I've watched some over film, I was like, I can see it. Uh, you know, quarterback who can run and gun. Uh, he makes plays when plays break down. Uh, I even like the run scheme. So uh, they run their running backs inside, outside. So uh, I thought it was a perfect fit. So uh, I got to make it fit now. I mean, uh, you know, it's a challenge. I mean, I'm learning a new playbook. I've only been in one system, but uh, got some great help. And uh, the challenge is learning new terminology. And uh, I think just throughout the week and uh, just, well, not the week, but yet today just uh, Coach Skip has been finding a good way to uh, find my old terminology and kind of bring it into the new terminology so I get it. So uh, we're picking up a lot, but uh, I'm going to be studying a lot, probably not playing no Xbox this week. To clarify how today went for you, it sounds like you couldn't practice right away until Zach's physical went through. So yes. you, you got in eventually, though, is yes, that right? Yes, I what did. Was, what was it like waiting, just kind of hanging out until you heard that and then finally getting to jump in? I mean, it was probably a good thing. I was right beside Coach Skip uh, trying to figure out the plays, and uh, I probably got him off rhythm a little bit because he was explaining so much stuff to me. But uh, that's really what it was. Uh, when I was waiting, it didn't feel like I was waiting because I was watching, watching those guys. And uh, I'm going to learn a lot from, you know, Duke. Uh, Motor Singletary and uh, James Cook, and uh, I'm I'm the new guy here, so I'm just trying to fit in and learn. Uh, well, I think I uh, was not. I don't think it's about me being comfortable. I think it's about you know, Coach uh, Coach Dorsey and Coach Skip making sure uh, that I'm I'm ready to go. Uh, I think probably in a week or two, I'll I'll have a great feel for it. I think just first time today it sounds like Chinese and uh, a couple hours later I'm starting to get things and understand things a little bit different from where I was was coming from but uh, I think maybe in a couple of weeks I'll figure it out and uh, you know I'll be out here in practice and I think that'll be kind of the tell of everything when I can go out there and see it and put good things on film to make them more comfortable to get me out there. One of the things that Brandon was talking about earlier is your experience playing some receiver and slot back going back to college how comfortable are you with moving around in the offense and maybe filling a role like that? I'm comfortable. I, I, I'll do whatever they ask me. Uh, just got to learn the concepts first. But uh, once I learn them, I'm really comfortable. I know, I'll know what to do. Uh, I know I can win on routes. I feel like I've proven that over the years. And uh, we got a lot of great ball catchers. Hopefully, I can get in the rotation, get in the mix, and touch the ball a little bit. But uh, like I said, my goal is to come here and help this team win a championship and do that in any way possible, even if that's not touching the ball at all. Do you think that you will see surgeries? I hope so, but it, that's up to Coach. Uh, like I said, I won't do anything to win. So it was punt return, kick return. I know I haven't done kick return in a year or two, but uh, I can still do that. I'm ready, and uh, I'll be ready to go Sunday or whenever they call my number. With that sideline, you've watched Josh Allen a couple of times now, you know, coming into this situation, knowing Josh and having seen him play, what's, um, what's your kind of take on it? Man, I can, go from, I can go from hating him to loving him. Because, you know, there's been times where, you know, we're up, we were up, you know, a couple times in the playoffs, and he makes a play, and you're like, God, I hate that guy, but he's so good. Snocky said, God, I love that guy, and he's so good. So uh, it's great. It's uh, been a dynamic offense. Uh, it's been amazing to, uh, you know, he came in with me. So we played them uh, my, my rookie year. It's amazing to, you know, see how much Buffalo has grown and the players they brought in from 2018 to now, or even in 2020 when they beat us in the playoffs. It's been great to see how this organization has grown, and I'm happy to be a part of it. And where's that fine line between coming to a new team and wanting to prove yourself and prove your worth that they 
traded for you and also not trying to do too much? Uh, I think it's just uh, really with that, it's just humbleness. Uh, I feel like my whole life, even when I got the second contract years ago, it's always been about proving to other people. And uh, I think throughout the years I've learned it's not about proving anybody. The Bills wanted me here, and that's all that matters. And it uh, doesn't matter what they gave up for me. I'm happy to be here. It's an opportunity. It's a new team, and it's a new situation. So uh, I'm not really going to press hard. I'm going to be me. I feel like these last five years I've been me, and that's been good enough. And uh, hopefully it will be here too. You know, it's not the greatest resource all the time, but it says in your Wikipedia page you worked at Bojangles in the offseason to prepare for business after football. Is that correct? Yes, I worked there. That plan, and what was that like for you? It was cool. It was just uh, honestly, with Bojangles, I just wanted to, you know, have a plan out of the football. I really want to be an analyst, uh, maybe, maybe like Nate Burleson, and he's taking me under his wing. Some I'd like to be on NFL Network and do that. And then, uh, like those franchises, find a way to get some passive income. But just working there to learn the ropes. Uh, I did obviously I didn't work a high, uh, like a fast food job in high school because I played sports. So I'm just trying to get some weeks and some hours in to learn. I mean, Brandon said that uh, he had talked with that you were looking for a change. Why exactly was that? A change? Uh, I mean, it was just time. Sometimes you just know when it's your time to go. I mean, I loved it in Indy. I'm thankful for all the opportunity, but uh, sometimes you can just you just know. And I feel like every player, you can have any player sit down right here and any player who's been on another team, it's like they kind of felt like they knew. I feel like a week ago I knew like it was it was my time to leave and I, I even like felt like, you know, like Sunday was my last game in Indy. It's just, you just, you sometimes just got that feeling. Yeah, five years is a long time. Uh, you know, I, I left school early. I got into the NFL when I was 21 years old and I'm about to turn 26 in like two or three weeks. So. Uh, I grew up my, I mean, it's my manhood. I mean, I went from being like, you know, a college kid to a grown man in that time there. So I'm thankful for that. But I am super excited to uh, to be a grown man now. I'll handle my own business. My sister's not calling me, helping me with bills. And uh, to be in upstate New York and help Buffalo try to win some championships. Super excited, uh, you know. I'm thankful for any opportunity, but I'm super excited when, you know, the team that's training for you is 6-1, has a great quarterback and a high-powered offense. It's like, you know, it's like, how could you lose? So uh, for me, uh, it's just not really proven to the world, uh, my, the trade or anything. It's proven to my teammates, proven to my coaches, and that's, that's my goal, to come out here, work my butt off, fit in. I think I'm doing a great job so far, and uh, I know I could be a great, you know, a great coach guy for that locker room. That's what I plan on growing to be. Hi. Sorry, go ahead. I want to go back to the three. The Bills, Deion Dawkins did an interview, and he had. Appreciate Dion, yes sir. He had your tornado pendant on that chain. He <laughs> found it because it was lost. We later found out it was your pendant on your chain. How wild is that? That now you're playing for this team, and, and Dion had part of your chain. <laughs> well, I used to joke about. It. I was like, man, uh, with '73 Dion, because uh, Jonathan Taylor knows Dion. They're both from Jersey, and I was like, man, when he was in his stance, he probably got in his stance. It was like, oh. What's that shining? But uh, it, I'm happy for that. Uh, I had just got it when I lost it. So uh, my jeweler actually sent it to me on Instagram and was like, what are you doing? But uh, kind of funny how that works out. And now, uh, you know, the guy who gave, returned me the chain is probably going to hopefully spring me for some big runs. <laughs> Thank, I'm thankful for that. And I, I'll probably owe him. I'm probably going to take him to dinner very soon. <laughs> Return punts in this stadium. Yes. What's it like compared to doing it in a dome? The wind is real. You know, uh, you know, just even I was talking to somebody else. It's like, you know, I'm happy to be here now because if you, you, when you, when you, when you play football, playoff football, most teams are cold places, and you're gonna have to do it when. That's kind of even what I was joking with somebody back there. I was like, man, you know, the wind here was swirling, but at least I get to be in it every day. But I remember, like, every time I come here, even uh, we had a preseason game in 2019. The ball moves a little bit because it's more windy, and that was the summer. So uh, just gotta focus, track it, and uh, I've, I got some experience here, and uh, I'm about to get a lot more experience out in cold weather and the uh, wind, and I'm excited for it. It was very windy, and, uh, you know, the, those are the times of returning when it's windy and raining where you don't want to catch points. But uh, I was felt comfortable last year. I felt comfortable there last year. Uh, I know we got to go to MetLife Stadium this week, and uh, super excited. I've returned, some, I've returned in some other places that were cold and windy, so I uh, had good enough practice. And in Indy, we go outside, and even though we play in a dome, we practice outside. And it was, shoot, two weeks ago, I was catching punts in a 20-mile-an-hour wind. So I've, I think I've had enough practice. Thank you, Thank you guys. Thank you.